I'm David Halton, a, a journalist and author, author of a biography of my legendary uh, father, Matthew Halton. It's called Dispatches from the Front, and it details his extraordinary career as a journalist, as a crusader against Nazism in the 1930s, and then as, the, as a war correspondent for the CBC, becoming the vital link between uh, Canada's uh, frontline troops uh, in the, on the war fronts and the home front. My publisher tells me that the, the sales of dispatches from the front have been, uh, have been pretty good. I think it's up to above 6,000 now. Um, although I must say, when I wrote the book, I wasn't particularly interested in writing a bestseller. My prime motivation was to write a book that would serve uh, that journalism students in Canada could read and discover uh, about a legendary Canadian foreign correspondent who many historians have called uh, Canada's greatest uh, war and foreign correspondent. So that was really the prime motivation rather than uh, writing a, a bestseller, although clearly any author would be happy to, to see uh, his book, uh, his or her book, uh, with a, a large readership. One advantage of writing the book I found was the first the book launches in various cities in Canada. And then uh, fairly frequent appearances in, in book clubs and literary festivals across the, the country. And uh, I really enjoyed that, you know, communicating with people, talking about the book, uh, talking about my father's life, talking about the differences between journalism then and now, and um, often going to obscure literary festivals, one in the Eastern Townships, I remember, another in Hudson, uh, where you find small but deeply devoted uh, readers to, uh, who've all read the sort of um, the books that have been best reviewed and are anxious to, uh, to learn more about it. And I found that uh, very encouraging that there is this, uh, um, this, this readership potential out there in, in the country. It's too early to say whether the book has had a great amount of appeal to, to younger readers. Uh, it's certainly having its impact in journalism schools, as I found as I've lectured since writing the book, that uh, people are, students are finally waking up the fact that there was this uh, a legendary Canadian journalist who they hadn't heard about before. So that's gra that was gratifying. Uh, I hope certainly the book will have an impact on, on younger readers. Uh, many of my father's contemporaries they won't know about. Uh, some they will, Ernest Hemingway being a key example. Uh, Hemingway had worked on the Toronto Star, where my father worked, so they had that link. Uh, they would meet up from time to time in the war, uh, including one celebrated, somewhat drunken lunch uh, a few weeks after the, um, the D-Day landings, where they f actually found a French restaurant that was open. They went in, they had this uh, a gargantuan meal with lots of cognac and wine. Towards the end of the, the meal, my, my father said to Ernest Hemingway, um, look, I, I've been a great admirer of your, you're, you're my, my favorite 20th century novelist, but I must say my one worry is that I don't think you write about the intimate relations between men and women uh, with the same accuracy as the rest of your writing. And as soon as he mentioned this, um, Hemingway took umbrage and said, uh, became quite furious, uh, by all accounts stamped his fist on the wooden table of this restaurant and said, uh, Halton, uh, you're telling me I can't fucking well write about fucking? You're full of shit. And he storms out of the restaurant. A celebrated incident written up by some of the other journalists who were, who were there. I was immensely flattered when I, I heard that I'd been uh, named for this prize. Uh, my father was always interested in his children uh, growing up to write well. And I remember as a kid, you know, if I got good marks in English, uh, he'd usually reward us by taking us out to an expensive restaurant or something. So it's gratifying that there is that connection. I mean, he was a wonderful writer. I'm an aspiring good writer, a long way to go. Um, but that connection certainly is a, a very meaningful one in terms of uh, being appreciated for good writing. Well, the book has certainly uh, elicited quite a lot of interest for, from uh, people, particularly in, in cinema and documentaries, who are, are thinking of making uh, a, a film about Matthew Halton. I've had two people approach me on that score, and uh, it's kind of in the works now. 
you sometimes wonder how difficult it will, will be to, to uh, do a film which has huge battle scenes. You almost needed Steven Spielberg and <laughs> to, to carry it off and a lot of money. So I don't know whether it will happen or not, but it's, it's encouraging that there is that uh, degree of interest. Uh, um, e-books will probably uh, uh, be interested too. Um, I thought of actually reading my book and recording it in the hope that that might elicit some interest and actually putting in the radio recordings of my father's broadcasts that I quote during the book, which might be uh, particularly effective because uh, um, they are very uh, persuasive broadcasts when you listen to them. A number of readers and, and uh, a few others, friends, have come back to me and said, well, it's a great book, uh, what are you going to do for an encore? And they're suggesting that I write my own memoir. And uh, it's, I'm still dickering with that idea, but I must say my own uh, uh, life as a journalist, 40 years, I covered wars, had many exciting uh, uh, interviews and uh, situations, but somehow they pale compared with my, my father's life of being the first correspondent to go into liberating, liberated Paris, uh, of escaping from behind German lines in, in the great Battle of Alamein in the Desert War, um, of being one of the first foreign correspondents who actually witness uh, the surrender to the, uh, the Russians and the other allies in Berlin. Um, somehow my own um, background as a journalist, exciting, as it has been on many occasions, uh, pales in comparison with the, the sheer drama of, of, of World War II. So I, I have second, uh, having second thoughts about whether I'll get around to writing a second book. I'm David Halton, the author of Dispatches from the Front, Matthew Halton, Canada's Voice at War.